Are you ready for food? Are you ready for food? There you go, there's your food. Hooray! Hooray! By the way, today's coffee is sponsored by Tim. Thank you so much, Tim, for the coffee. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be buying a coffee today, at least not on camera and before the beach. Uh, so I wanted to go ahead and give the shout out up here, up front, even before the even before the intro. So there, there you go. So thank you, thank you, Tim, for the coffee. All right, you got everything loaded up into my big beach bag got a lunch box i'm in the car and i'm all ready to go look at that folks it looks like we have made it to some sort of beach-like area actually right now i'm in the parking lot there's some shaded uh picnic tables and playground and i think some restrooms gosh i hope some restrooms over there but uh yeah beach is right out there. Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back. Good morning actually specifically. Today is beach day, yay! Um, this is really special for many many reasons. The first reason being this is what you all decided that you wanted me uh, to do um, in honor of getting 2k subs. So thank you all so much for that first of all right off the bat. And um, thank you for <laughs> for sending me to the beach. <laughs> um, I'll be honest, I put that option in there. I, I seriously just wanted to go to the beach. I just wanted to go to the beach. And I'm so happy that I can that I can do this and I can bring you all along with me. I'm so excited and I really hope that you are too. It should be a really nice, relaxing day. It's gorgeous out, so um, the Florida gods have graced me with uh, good beach weather. I should also mention that I am at Fort DeSoto Beach, specifically the North Beach at Fort DeSoto Park, which is a park in Pinellas County. I think I've, I think that's how you pronounce it. I think I figured that out by now. Um, but uh, yeah, it's over kind of close to like St. Petersburg area. So that's where I'm at now. That's what I decided on. And um, I decided to do this beach, this place in particular, because um, there's actually a lot of things to do here. It's not just the beach. Um, there's dog parks, there's a dog beach, so lots of, <laughs> lots of stuff for dogs. Um, and obviously I showed you like, there's some playgrounds here. There's a bunch of nature trails. There is an actual legit fort, which um, if I have time, I'll, I'll go check that out today as well. Um, so lots of things to do here. Um, I'm gonna be honest, like when I started this, I really had no idea what I was gonna do on a beach day. <laughs> I have no idea what's gonna happen, what I'm gonna say, how I'm gonna make this interesting. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I wanted to pick a place that um, at least had some other options. So in case uh, you all get bored of me just sitting here on on the beach, we can go do some, some other things as well. So anyway, enough blabbering beach is behind us. Let's go find us a spot on the sand. Okay, let's go. So I have walked down towards the beach and this is what we're, what we're dealing with over here. Looks like there is a sandbar out there and another like, I'm gonna assume like kind of like a nature trail that you can walk along here because the path just seems to kind of go on forever that way. And then down towards that way. I see some beach umbrellas and lifeguard things way off in the distance there. So I think I'm gonna walk in that direction. That seems smart. We are getting closer to the people now. The sand has gotten a bit thicker, so I'm going to take my sandals off, go barefoot from here on out. Okay, this is a very crucial moment, finding the perfect beach spot. Wow, this sand is so powdery white and shimmery. It's almost like, it looks like I'm walking on like frosting or meringue or something. Very, very nice. Okay, let's see. I've got two towels. The 
this is the pattern I have decided to choose for my, uh, oh, my tissues fell out, for my uh, towels. I figure that kind of gives me enough room to lay out, but also kind of enough room width-wise. Usually I like to have like a big blanket or something like that, but uh, for now, towels is what I have, so we will make do. Also, this one is particularly awesome. It's a flamingo surfing. Slight update. I have since moved my spot because like basically the second that I sat down, somebody next to me like just started blaring their music and uh, not trying to get copyrighted and um, also kind of wanting more of a quieter-ish beach experience than, than that. So let that be a lesson to you all. Just because you think you have the best taste in music ever doesn't mean that everybody else, everybody else wants to hear it. So, okay, but that's fine. We're here in a better spot. And finally, in the sun, I have since sunscreened up, but I thought maybe I would show you what I brought with me, what's in my beach bag. So let's look at that. Okay, so here is the little cover-up that I was wearing, kind of letting it dry out because in all honesty, I already like started sweating like profusely in this. Um, I have a little lunch box here. I don't actually have any food in here. I, it's just like a little cooler because um, just in case my phone gets like overheated or anything or needs a break, I also have a bottle of fancy water in here as well. And then in this bag, obviously I have my chandelier. And I have another big jug of water here, full of ice. And I've got a snack, little snack here. Um, another cup of water that I've been sipping on so far. So lots and lots of water. Um, my keys, obviously. I've got my tanning oil. This is what I got for today. I have this. I put this on for my face. I got a bandana for my hair in case it gets too crazy. Also a hat for my hair in case it gets too crazy. Some shaltines, never leave home without them. And headphones, tissues as we saw earlier. Um, I think that's, oh yeah, and some face wipes. Um, just in case, again, like my face gets like a little too crazy, a little too oily today. So that's what's in, that's what's in my bag. So I opened up my popcorn and instantly this guy starts inching forward. And keep on moving, buddy. This popcorn is mine. So this is definitely a really, it's a really nice beach. I like the sand. It's really nice and soft and uh, it's like super white and not like full of like seashells like it, like it is over on the East Coast. Um, so that's nice. Uh, lots of people out here with uh, umbrellas and beach beach chairs and uh, like the little tent thingies as well. They also do um, beach chair rentals as well. I saw down that way, so that's pretty cool. Um, and and like I said, it, it's busy, but it's not too busy. It's not like overly overly busy like what you would find at like say Daytona Beach or or Cocoa Beach. Um, something like that so that's really nice as well having a really good time lots of families out here lots of people still trickling in and enjoying uh enjoying a beautiful perfect florida day i keep saying that but that's the time of year that it is folks like it's just the weather out here is it's perfect so glad i was able to come out here and enjoy the beach hopefully you all are having a good time and um i mean who knew like it's it's still february time of this recording and I know like basically everywhere else in the country is like super cold and disgusting so this is why Florida this is why Florida is amazing because like this weather is so so perfect this time of year but come come just a few months from now it's gonna get so disgusting so but uh, anyway hopefully for all of you people who are living in uh, not so nice weather spots right now. Hopefully you can live vicariously through me in my my Florida life.
The only thing that I wish though is that I had like something, like something underneath my head. Otherwise, I mean, I like being on the ground. I don't mind being on the ground at the beach. I don't usually bring like a beach chair or anything like that. Um, but like I said earlier, usually I have like a big blanket that I use at the beach and then I can use my beach towels as like a pillow, prop my head up, but didn't have the option on a, on a short notice, AKA didn't think about it. It's too lazy to think about it. Also, this is generally what I like to do at the beach. I just come out here, bring my stuff. Usually I have a book with me that I'll read, I'll listen to music, but I'll just lay out. Like, I like just laying in the sun. I'm like a plant, like soaking up the sun. That's my favorite thing. That's my favorite thing to do. But we'll get in the water though, I promise. That will happen. I probably can't take you all with me though, because I don't know if my phone is waterproof. But we'll walk along the beach as well. Okay, well, just got back in from playing around in the water for a little bit. Sorry, again, like I I don't wanna take my phone out there in case like something goes weird. If I was thinking about it, I would have borrowed uh, Jay's GoPro or asked to borrow his GoPro, but I'll do, we'll do that next time. But anyway, um, water's cold. Water is very, very cold. Uh, definitely in those situations, the best thing to do is just to get under, like get your whole body in the cold water and get used to like ripping off a Band-Aid. And um, once I did that, after 20 minutes of farting around <laughs> um, out there, uh, then it was fine, it was, it was okay. But yeah, really nice. One of the things that I like about the West Coast uh, beaches as well is the water's a lot more calm than the East Coast. Uh, so I, can, I actually feel like safe and comfortable like going out in the water. Um, and just kind of enjoying, well, enjoying the water. Um, and I saw fish too. I saw fish, big, big, big fish. And I wasn't even out that far. Um, but at least it wasn't a shark. That's the important thing. So if you've been following my Twitter at all, which if you aren't, why not? No, I'm just kidding. If you've been following my Twitter at all, you know that recently I ate an entire bag of Cool Ranch Doritos in like 24 hours and now I'm realizing that this sharing size of skinny pop popcorn I'm down to here at the bag and I got this not even 24 hours ago so uh, I could pretty much live off of chips is what I'm realizing going to reapply some sunscreen and then I think we're gonna go ahead, head out on a walk. Alrighty, gonna walk along the beach now. See how far we can go. a little bit less busy, a little less congested out here. It's really nice. Also, this area back here apparently is closed for an uh, important nesting area. And then out there, I guess is like another kind of little sandbar area. Lots of boats way out there. Also some boats just right up here as well. Just a little bit of water up in, up in here. I don't know. I guess this is like a sandbar, I think. Pretty sure. I don't know specific terms. Let's be honest. Tell you one thing though. It is bird city up in here. Lots of the little sandpipers right in front of me. I'm not sure if the camera's really picking them up. I think they are. Yeah. You can see them moving and just a ton of seagulls up there. 
Hello, burbs. Hello, burbs. Look at them go. They're running. Okay, bye bye. Oh, wow. Look at, look at all the little birdie prints in the mud. Yeah, because this is definitely. This is muddy. They're so cute. Amateur bird watching hour. Look at them go. They're taking baths. They're so cute. Out there, it looks like a popular place for for boats. They're all kind of just chilling, hanging out over there, doing boat stuff. And um, I don't know what it is that I'm stepping on, the stuff here, but it feels icky. Especially after like just walking on like pristine white satiny sand. So back to the beach. feels pretty darn good. The whole time that I was walking down here, I was like, man, I want to get in that water. <laughs> I think now that it's like kind of getting hotter and I've been outside for a little bit longer, it's like, okay, this feels really good. Uh, hope y'all are having fun. This is like the best day of my life. <laughs> Just wish Jay was here, of course. I always say that, but anytime I do an adventure on my own, you can pretty much assume that uh, I wish Jay was here. So, but we'll go to the beach soon. Uh, we'll vlog it. We might not vlog it sometimes. We live in Florida, for goodness sakes. So, we'll be back. I have made it successfully back to my spot after a very long walk. Also, sorry if you're triggered by feet. I think I've shown my feet quite a lot. Quite a lot in this. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go into the water one more time after I drink some water for a little bit. And then I think head out and go that direction. See what we can see what we can find. You know, no matter how many times I get in that water, which is three now, it's still really, really hard to just go under and 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 rip the band-aid off, as they say. But it feels so good. Yeah, it feels good. It's definitely it's a lot colder than I think the East Coast in general, right? Um, but then also probably being like earlier in the year in February is probably not as warm as it could be. It's pretty darn cold, <laughs> but it definitely feels good. Yeah, definitely feels good. Okay, I think, I think I'm going to pack up the stuff now and then, um, head out. I think I'm going to go in that direction, the direction that we haven't gone yet. Or actually, rather, we're going to backtrack and then keep going along that path because we kind of saw like that nice like little nature path, I think, down there. I don't know, we're gonna follow it. We're gonna see what happens. That was a really, really fun time at the beach. It's definitely filled in a bit with more people since I've been here. It's a good time. I would definitely go back. Okay, we're heading on, heading on this way. All right, I have since regrouped. I went back to my car, dropped off a few things in my bag here, and um, got like freshened up a little bit, put some more sunscreen on, and now we are walking this way. No idea where we're going to, or even really why, but well, that's what we do here. That's what we do here. This is a really pretty trail so far. It's uh, very Florida, very beachy. Just kind of walking in that direction for I guess as long as I feel like it, but I'm pretty sure it meets up with another beach way on the other side, so we'll see how far how far we make it. But yeah, there's, there's lots of little kind of um, areas beyond the brush here that some people are 
setting up camp. Definitely a lot more quiet, a lot more chill than the than the actual beach. This is very lovely. Pretty much have been kind of the only person out here so far. So that's been really nice too. Nice, uh, peaceful walk like I was hoping for. Wow. This is pretty darn cool. A lot of bird activity going on out here. Birds diving into the water, getting some fish, I'm assuming. That bird right there is like chowing down on something. That was really, it's really nice, very peaceful spot. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm determined to get some footage of this bird dive bombing because holy moly, something else. Come on, do it. Come on. Stay on target. Stay on target. Oh, did you see that? That was so cool. These birds slowly creeping up on me as I was watching the other one. I see what you birds are up to. I know, I understand. I watched I watched the Hitchcock movie. While I'm sitting here, uh, you know I have to be at least a little introspective with these with these things. Um, but I just wanted to say really quick, like, for those of you who don't know, um, I grew up in Florida for about half of my life, maybe more than half of my life. Uh, yeah, more than half my life. Wow, I can math. Deep down, all in all, like, yeah, I'm I'm a Florida gal for sure. And for a lot of my life, I just couldn't wait to get out of here. I couldn't wait to get out of this state and see other things. And I'm so glad that I did. Uh, I don't regret that at all. Like the experiences that I've had, the places that I've been able to live and to travel to and to see, like I wouldn't trade that for a single thing. Um, but it feels so good and so nice to be back in Florida and to be back here at the beach for the first time since I've since I've moved or not I haven't moved back here but since the first time since I've been back here in Florida it's the first time I've been to the beach and it's just so nice and granted this isn't the type of beach that I'm used to. I'm, I grew up on the east coast. I spent most of my time like on the east coast and also central Florida um, so being on the West Coast, it feels very, it does feel very different. I don't care what anybody says, every beach is not the same. Um, and I'm actually very proud to say that I've been to a bunch of different beaches. I've been to the Northwest, I've been to the Southwest, you know, beaches like California, um, also like the Northeast and now here down down south. So I've, I've been to all kinds of beaches and they are all very, very different. So don't let anybody tell you otherwise. But um, anyway, that was a tangent. Point is, <laughs> it's nice to be back at the beach. That's really all I was trying to say. It's nice to be back in Florida. It's nice to be back at the beach. Holy moly, there's cacti out here. This whole field is filled with uh, little prickly pears. What in the world? Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is see what's just around the uh, river bend here. And um, if it's still yet more stretch of road just like this, I think I'm gonna turn around and call it a day. We spent a lot of time out here at the beach in this very one particular spot in Fort DeSoto. Yeah, it's very obvious that I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to come back. I'm gonna have to come back and uh, check out the rest of the stuff. There's so much to do and see here. 
and somehow I like naively thought that um, maybe I would see a couple things besides the beach today, but nope, nope, didn't happen. Did not happen. Okay, well, this is where the uh, trail has led me to a habitat restoration conser conservation area. I was hoping maybe the beach would be right here, but I think it's just beyond the brush there because I can, I can hear it. I can hear it, but I can't see it. So yeah, gonna head back now, head back to my car. Well, thank you all so much for coming with me on today's adventure. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you to uh, all of my 2K plus subscribers. Yay! That's why we are doing this today. Uh, everyone has decreed that I should go on a beach day and thus I made it happen. So I hope that you all really enjoyed it. Um, this was a legit beach day. <laughs> this was me going to the beach. I've been wanting to go to the beach so I, I appreciate any excuse to do so. I really hope that this was um, entertaining and um, I'll definitely be back. I'll definitely do this again, as I mentioned before. Hopefully I can bring Tampa J along with me. Speaking of Tampa J, he, uh, he made some videos this weekend too. He definitely had his camera with him. I watched him pack it. So he was at Day, Day, of, Day of the Dead, Days of the Dead, a convention, an awesome, awesome convention. Um, over in Atlanta and they actually do a bunch of different conventions in a couple of other different states um, at different times. But uh, definitely check that out, uh, especially all you spooky fans out there. And um, today did something really special too. I won't spoil that for you because um, who knows when this video comes out and when his video comes out. Yeah, anyway, he's done some really fun stuff this weekend. Really, really cool stuff. So be sure to check out his videos as well. Look at me. Supportive girlfriend. Anyway, thank you all again so much for coming along with me, for sticking with me through my adventures, whether you were here from the very beginning when I toured Hershey Gardens or right now, today, for some reason, you clicked on my, my beach video. Hello, if that's the case. All right. Ah, it's a good day. It's a really good day in the sun. It's exactly what I needed. And thank you all for um, coming with me as I keep venturing down this never-ending pathway. I appreciate it. Sorry to end the video on such a uh, anticlimactic <laughs> thing, but uh, here we are. Anyway. Okay, thank you all so much again. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And hey, let me know, beach day. What's your, what's your favorite thing to do at the beach? I'd love to know, leave me a comment below. What's your favorite thing to do at the beach? My favorite thing, as I mentioned, is just laying out and being in the sun. It's my favorite. Okay, bye everyone. Bye-bye for real. Bye-bye. I'm just kidding. I went back to the beach and I got back in the water. Four times. Four times today. That time felt the best. Alright. Bye-bye everyone.